he experienced another major shock when other nations' jets began bombing China. Today, we'll talk about Soichiro Honda's biography in this video. A history of creation, experimentation, success, and failure. It was this individual who challenged the conventional wisdom of business practices, not only in his own nation, but also in nearly every other nation in the world. Soichiro Honda grew up in a small village in Japan, where his father worked as a blacksmith. Ever since he was young, he has been curious, attracted to new things, tools and machines, and has an intense curiosity in cars and other vehicles. On the other hand, he was not particularly good in school and had no interest in pursuing a career in academy. As a result, he quit his studies and began working with his father. One day he saw an advertisement that said, In Tokyo, some mechanics were required. Because the Art Shokai company specialized in car repair and maintenance, Soichiro sees this as an exciting opportunity to grow his skills and learn more about vehicles. He made the biggest decision of his life when he left his village and traveled to Tokyo to work as a mechanic. Soichiro Honda arrived in Tokyo without incident, but nothing was as he was expecting. He was too young to be hired, so he was instead given the opportunity to work as an intern. He nevertheless refused to give up, accepted the opportunity, and stayed away from his village. Working as an intern was challenging because he wasn't paid for his work and had to complete a variety of modest tasks and his attitude was well rewarded. His understanding grew to such an extent that he began assisting other senior mechanics and major employees in their work. Everyone began to recognize Soichiro Honda's potential and capacity, including the owner of the company. As a result, he began instructing Soichiro on business-related subjects as well. At the age of 22, Soichiro Honda progressed to the position of manager and achieved great success. Soichiro Honda began to consider the big picture after all of this. So he made the decision to manufacture piston rings, which are used in automobiles. However, the organization disapproved of this plan, so he resigned from his role as branch manager there in order to achieve his goals. Now, since there was a need to know many things in order to make piston rings, he once more began learning about those things at all hours of the night. He used to do it frequently, and he continued doing it up until the point at which he produced the highest quality piston ring. He began selling the desired rings to significant businesses like Toyota after producing them. He achieved success. However, when the war in China began, he once more received a huge shock. The majority of his company's workers were required to serve in the military. Once more, his solutions began to work, and he began to believe that everything was going according to plan. However, he experienced another major shock when other nations' jets began bombing China. With all of his courage and faith, Honda gave his life a fresh start after his firm was destroyed and everything disappeared. He returned to work and established his own business, which he named Honda Motors. He began his motorcycle manufacturing business. He didn't have a lot of money at the beginning. He started selling the motorbike, which was well-liked despite being nothing more than a cycle hooked to an engine, and he began making money. He became the largest motorcycle producer when his motorcycles achieved great success on a global scale. He considered starting to manufacture four-wheelers as well as producing and modeling automobiles. Because there were so many car manufacturers on the market, the Department of Trade did not like this proposal. However, Honda ignored their advice and, as usual, followed his heart and his thoughts as he set out to achieve his goal. Everyone admired the efficient and reliable model he created at the time. He proved everyone and established himself, even in the auto industry. Since 1959, his motorcycle business has been the largest in the world. His goals came true as his company's motorcycles continued winning in multiple races. Directly or indirectly, Soichiro and his attributes contributed to the development of the Honda Corporation.